Kennedy's a politician. He's backing what's hot. Once Shepard's successful and he, you're getting the cheers and Glenn's successful, he leaps on it with everything he's got because this is something that's, um, that not only do the American people like, but industry likes. Um, people that make airplanes and, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, uh, engines and um, the Texas then had, was for um, JFK. If without winning Texas in 60, he never would have been president. So he's delivering pork to Houston with all these space dollars coming in, keeping Texas in the Democratic fold. So it became convenient to get into space. But by all accounts, once he went to Cape Canaveral, once he met with engineers, once he really started understanding, educating himself on the, the amazing technology that was at our disposal, he became not only a booster, but it was very heartfelt. I mean, he became recognizing that, that spirit of adventure he had by racing cars faster, sailing, um, it was transported into I will be known as the space president. And Lyndon Johnson did the same thing after him. Uh, it was popular with the public, so politicians are going to gravitate to it. Now, Kennedy was very concerned about America's image in the third world, the developing world. He would talk about the struggle for hearts and minds. He's going to prove to the third world that America remains the top country in engineering, in uh, technology of uh, the sort that goes into sending a man to the moon. So in terms of public prestige and practical competition with the Soviet Union in that Cold War power struggle, it was a very well thought out and contrived program. So um, it became something that Kennedy recognized was going to help him with public opinion. It wasn't a divisive issue going to the moon. It brought Democrats and Republicans together on a common mission, so much so that even today we ask ourselves, well, what's our next moonshot? Could we do a moonshot today? Uh, it comes up all the time when you're politically polarized because in that particular endeavor, all of America was cheering for Shepard and Glenn and other astronauts leading into um, Apollo 11. Could they know what all the technological gains would be? No, of course not. But there were extraordinary gains in the, uh, with weather satellites and a host of other things that they had not anticipated. 